Compassion is one of those words that we hear a hell of a lot of and we all know that living a more compassionate, kind, benevolent lifestyle is good for our overall health. It contributes to physical, emotional, mental and physical well-being. However, that being said, applying compassion on a day-to-day basis isn't always as easy as you may think. Um, We tend to take life very personally. We tend to take other people's behaviours, other people's actions very personally and we tend to be quite critical and judgmental of other people and of ourselves you know we assume that if we do something wrong that you know it's it's somehow reflective of us being a flawed character likewise when other people do something that hurts us or you know that kind of doesn't tie in with our expectations of them we assume that they're out to get us or that they've done this just to hurt us and that's rarely the case you know and one concept that I have found extremely beneficial to me in helping me assume a a compassionate mindset in as many areas of my life as possible is assuming that everyone is doing their absolute best with what they have in any given moment and I know when I first heard that I think it was either Brené Brown or Louise Hayes or one of them um that uh, I kind of said oh that's bullshit you know there's no way that could be true I mean even for myself I'm not doing my best in certain areas and then I asked myself okay well if I know I'm not doing my best how come I'm not doing things any differently and it's because I wasn't capable of doing things any differently in that given moment and time you know so it's about going easy on that it doesn't mean that you're not going to change it doesn't mean that you're not going to do things differently likewise for other people it doesn't mean that they're not going to change or that they're not going to do things differently it's just accepting that this is all they're capable of in this given moment and choosing not to carry resentment and anger and all of those kind of really harmful um, sensations around with you all day long you know if you can learn to let things go if you can accept a person okay they may not be what you anticipated or what you would have liked from them but they're doing what they know how based on their past experiences based on their level of awareness and based on what they know about life so it's about fostering as much acceptance and love and forgiveness and understanding and appreciation of yourself and of other people and just all the time uh, surrendering to the fact that you know people aren't perfect and you're not perfect so how can you go about creating that compassionate mindset on a day-to-day basis well I suppose first of all start giving people the benefit of the doubt you know we tend to jump to conclusions we tend to assume that we can read minds we tend to uh, try to uh, predict the future and we tend to be very very sure that we are right and that's not always the case you know and again be very wary of the stories that you have in your mind the stories that you're telling yourself about your reality try to look for the good in life and this isn't about you know putting a positive spin on everything because sometimes Sometimes people do hurt you or sometimes you're not capable of doing something you know not everything in life is possible not everything in life is positive but it's about paying attention to what is good paying attention to what you can take from the situation or what you can take from that other person that is helpful and beneficial and you know that that isn't unkind try to apply perspective and context wherever possible i mean if we can try as frequently as possible to put ourselves into somebody else's shoes to understand what their experience is or to try and even uh, get a glimpse of what their life is what's happening for them another way we can really really help ourselves here is to reflect on our own personal experience as frequently as possible and to reflect on why someone is bothering so so much because generally if we're very self-accepting and if we come from a really solid sense of worth then no matter what anybody else does it shouldn't really irritate it that much I mean yes we're going to experience the initial emotional response be it pain be it jealousy be it um, guilt whatever it is yeah we'll experience it but we're able to release it and work through it and let it go and you know we're able to evaluate okay is there something that I should have done 
done differently? What was my role in this circumstance? And how can I improve things? How can we sort this out? Does there need to be a conversation? And so on and so forth. And the more you can do that, the more you can kind of have a bird's eye view and be objective as opposed to seeing everything from the very, very um, narrow perspective that you have. Um, and that's not a criticism. It's just how we all are. You know, we tend to see things from our own perspective only. And again, it's not about kind of forgiving everything. and um, But it's just about moving away from that need to be defensive, that need to create conflict, that need to carry resentment and anger and all of these things that really do you no good whatsoever. Now, again, as I said, this isn't easy. This is a lifetime of work, a lifetime of retraining yourself. And it's it doesn't always happen moment to moment. I mean, oftentimes it'll be two or three days down the line when I'll be like, hey, hang on. What are you doing here? You know, you're you're carrying all of this anger, you're carrying this resentment, and it's not helping you. Um, it's and and it's only then that I try to put myself into the other person's shoes and understand where they're coming from and try to rationalize things. So you know, it's not a given science, and it's not something that possibly you're ever going to be a master in. But that's the way with an awful lot of these spiritual concepts. You know, you just try and you try and you try again. I hope this has been helpful. If you would like to work with me on an individual basis, just with any mental health issue or with any area of your life that you'd like to see a little bit different, maybe a little bit more awareness, a little bit more acceptance, a little bit more joy and a little bit more fulfillment, then get in touch with me on my website. It is fundamentals.ie.